So if I'm asking to determine the quadrant, um, a couple things you guys need to remember about at least with radians. Okay, remember a radian is our distance of our radius from our center out. So if I was going to wrap that around the circle, I could say that that's roughly going to take us to that point. Does that make sense? That is what we call one radian. Now remember, that's in the positive direction. So what our problem says is determine which quadrant, um, determine which quadrant that uh, two radians are in. Okay. So what we have is they're saying actually our problem is asking where is negative two. So we're still going to go two radians, but we need to go make sure we go in the negative direction. So I told you guys this way is the positive direction. Or counterclockwise is the counter, counter direction, and clockwise is what we call the negative direction. So what I need to do is I'm going to go, instead of going radians this way, I'm going to calculate the two radians this way. So this would be one radian, and that would be two radians. Do you kind of see that? Yeah. So then what quadrant is negative two radians? Three. So it is in quadrant three. So the only difference between that and, like, for example, how the A part of the problem is negative pi over 12, <coughs> you change the pi side to like 12 over 12. I'll do, a, uh, I'll do another problem there. So therefore, this angle, negative 2 pi, is negative 1 radian, negative 2 radians, which will take you roughly to here. Like I said, I don't have it exact. I'm just approximating. But it's going to take you into um, third quadrant. Yes? What can it be on problem 4? Why can't it? Yeah. Okay. Because basically, you have half and half. Right. But do you remember what a radian is? Yeah. The radian is the distance of the radius, right? Okay. If you take the distance of the radius, all right, the distance of the radius wraps to here, then there's two radiuses, and then there's roughly about three. So that would be one radius, two radiuses, three radius lengths. So it's saying is, what if I was going to measure my degree into two radius lengths, where would that take me? Well, it's only going to take me into the quadrant three. Does that make sense? And what the question is asking? Yes? Um, I have another question. Is it on this problem? Yeah, it's about radians. Okay, yes. Well, it's like you're measuring how many radians, but so if, if you're measuring from like the initial, or whatever you call it, and to the end point, like the opposite direction, yeah. up, would that mean it's negative or going in the negative direction? Just remember, whenever you're going clockwise, that's in the negative direction. Right. Counterclockwise is in the positive direction. Does that help out a little bit? Yeah. So, so if negative, you're going to go clockwise. Positive, you're going to go counterclockwise. On that? Yes. Yep. Well, Go ahead. It's like, how do you know like how far the radiance, like, how far the radian goes? You're just estimating. So, like, you know, I guess estimate. I am estimating. I know, but how do you know? So remember I said you, can, you guys can look at it as like a wet noodle. So I take, that's a radian, right? So then I wrap it around there. So I was actually pretty good with my estimate. It's about right there, okay? So that's actually exactly what one radian is. Then I do it again. And I say, Where's two radians? Actually, mess it up. So one radians from there to there, there, there. So then second radian is actually at this point, and third radian took me actually to here. Okay. So I just estimated, but I'm very close to it. Do you see what I did? Was I just yeah. took the length of a radius and I wrapped it around the circle? Make sense? Can you explain the 3.14 again? 